New at noon, a defiant Scott Walker again rejects the Kenosha Casino. Vince, the governor was here in Kenosha in this empty warehouse here to announce the creation of new jobs and the relocation of an Illinois company coming to Kenosha. Many people in the audience, though, which included senators, state senators, and representatives, they all wanted to hear, though, about creation of maybe thousands of jobs from a Kenosha casino. Governor Walker, though, a defiant no. Well, why meet about something that's already been resolved? It, it's kind of like having a meeting about a bill that's been signed in the law. And once the law is signed, um, another meeting isn't going to change what the law is. Governor Walker also opened up about several other issues, including some of the protests outside his home to propose cuts to the UW system. He was defiant there, too, saying they can protest all they want, but he believes in his convictions and he thinks he's on the right side of the arguments. We're live here in Kenosha this, this afternoon. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. When you talk about that you're for the people of Wisconsin and you care about the children, you have to show that through your budget process. Governor Walker's sons both took to Twitter responding to the protests outside the family home. His younger son, Alex, tweeted this picture, adding, quote, they're protesting in front of our home. Who lives there, you might ask? My grandma and grandpa. Unbelievable. Walker's oldest, Matt, actually included a picture of the elderly couple, quote, protesters march on Scott Walker's home. Correction, protesters march on my grandparents' home.